Ariane recently took another step towards reintroducing civil supersonic transportation when it announced in October that it has an engine for its AS2 Mach 1.4 business trijet. GE Aviation's affinity line of supersonic capable turbofans will also meet upcoming stage five environmental and noise standards. It's not that we haven't known how to design supersonic airplanes or supersonic engines, but this engine must meet stage five noise requirements, current emissions requirement. It's got to travel over 5,000 nautical miles, uh, over 4,000 nautical miles at supersonic speeds. It's never been done before. It's, uh, it's a tremendous technological accomplishment on the part of uh, GE to, uh, to develop this engine. So when people think about supersonic aircraft, they usually think about noise on takeoff because there's an afterburner on the engines. This was the case with the Concorde, and military jets often have afterburners. There's no afterburner system on this uh, engine, and so it's quiet on takeoff. GE has built supersonic capable engines for military applications since the 1950s, starting with the F-104 Starfighter, and is drawing from that experience for the Affinity turbofans. The new engine features a service ceiling of 60,000 feet, and the highest bypass ratio of any supersonic engine. Part of the engine is based on our one of our commercial airline engine cores. So that part of the engine is well known. It's not what I would call clean sheet. What's interesting though is that, that the architecture of that core is used on the F-110 engine and the F-16 and the F-101 and the B-1 bomber. We chose to use that core because it has so many hours, millions, hundreds of millions, approaching billions of hours of operation. So it's very reliable, it's very well known. What's different about the core in this application is we have introduced some additional thermal technologies because the engine has to operate at higher temperatures for longer periods of time. What is new or clean sheet on this engine is the low pressure system. It has a two-stage fan, similar to what we do on some of our military engines. It has advanced acoustic treatment because noise is important, and it has a unique exhaust nozzle system. So we take a proven commercial airline core, adapt it for higher temperature, high altitude operation, and put a new low pressure system around that core. The first AS2 is scheduled to fly in 2023 with certification in 2025 and GE says that it will have the engine ready to support that schedule. We have completed the product definition, what the requirements of what the engine needs to do to support Ariane. We have a conceptual design, so we know that we can produce an engine that meets the requirements of the aircraft. And we have a preliminary design review scheduled in 2020. Uh, that's the next step. If you've enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up, share it, and subscribe to our channel. Also, visit AINonline.com and check out our e-newsletters for all the latest on the aviation industry.